It is a big week for the Michigan West Coast Chamber of Commerce. Here to tell us more about the organization's Leadership Week, Chamber President Jody Ozwarski. How are you? I'm great, Michelle. Thanks for having me today. Yeah, well, thanks for being here. I know you're really excited about this week. What is so exciting about it? Well, you know, this is our Leadership Week. Uh, we've had a long program for uh, establishing leaders in our community. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been doing that since 1988. But last year, we started something brand new as, as an extra component to that. And so we've uh, started something called Community Impact Day, and that's happening this week, Wednesday. Okay, and what is what is part of that, that Impact Day? So Community Impact Day is a day that we send people out to volunteer throughout our community. Mm -hmm. And so we reach out to our chamber members and to other organizations throughout our community to find out what projects do they have that they just don't have the manpower to tackle themselves that we might be able to bring in those hands and feet to be able to get that work done. And we saw a picture right there, but what kinds of projects are we talking about? You know, it can be a little bit of anything. It, um, it started today with donating blood, okay. um, but we also have anything from office work to yard work. We're painting, we're building playgrounds, uh, doing spring cleanup, you name it. If it's a task that needs to be done, we're going to have volunteers out doing it. Why is that so important, and how is that then part of leadership? You know, I think leaders um, can stand back and tell people what to do or they can lean in and do the work that needs to be done and lead by example and so that was the purpose in building it into our leadership program uh, but we find it's a great way for teams to go out volunteer together they bond they have a great time well doing good work for important for uh, important organizations in our community. Yeah, great. I know you have a speaker tomorrow. We do. We have Marcus Allen, not the football player, okay. <laughs> uh, coming in from Philadelphia. Marcus uh, heads up the Big Brothers Big Sisters program in Philadelphia. He's actually going to be speaking uh, and encouraging leaders throughout our community to stop just thinking about things and really lean in and start doing, which is a great tie into that next day. And he'll actually be out with us volunteering on Wednesday as well. Okay, good. Then when it's all done, you get to celebrate. We do indeed. So uh, we have 921 people so wow. far signed up to volunteer. Following that time, we're going to go out to Windmill Island uh, Garden uh, and we are going to have a party. We've got live mm -hmm. music, we have food trucks. It's just going to be a great time for us to celebrate the good work that we've done in the community. And you said so far, so people can still get involved? They can indeed. Okay. So our website, westcoastchamber.org, you can go there and there are still some volunteer opportunities opportunities that we have uh, that they can sign up and fill for us. Good. Well, it sounds incredible. Thank you. And, and for your whole team, too, and what they're doing this week, really making an Appreciate impact. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, yeah, Michelle. Thanks.